Good morning students in the first semester in your 6th chapter of grammar we studied about the verbs so before starting the next chapter let us revise and see what is a verb a verb is a word that is used to indicate the position or condition of the subject to denote the action of the subject or what is possessed by the subject so in short book we could say that verbs jo sentence mein action hota hai jo work hota hai that show is shown by the verb so let us see the example given here she served the poor and the sick so in this sentence the word served shows what she is doing she is serving the poor and the sick so the action in the verb uh, sentence is shown by the word served and so that is a verb after being clear about the verbs let us continue further with the seventh chapter of your grammar syllabus that is non finite verbs verbs can be either finite or non finite so let us see what is a finite verb a verb that changes according to the time of action that is present past or future time can be anything the number of people doing the action means there is only one person that is singular or plural and the person that is first person second person or third person doing the action is called a finite verb jo verb hai wo is sub condition mein change hota hai according to the tenses according to the singular or plural and according to the persons first second and third that is a finite verb so let us see the example where we are given two sentences where we could easily see how the verb changes i go to school every day so here the subject also is singular i and go is the verb which is in the singular form now the person changes he goes to school every day so when it becomes becomes a uh, he from i the verb changes from to goes from go so this is how the verb changes and that type of verb is a finite now let us see what are non finite verbs non finite verbs are the verbs which do not change their forms according to the tense number of people doing the action or the pronoun used as the subject so ye non finite verb hai wo changes usme nahi hote even if there is a change in the tense number of people or the action we let us see the example i like painting he likes painting so here the word painting it uh, the verb painting it did not change even when the person of the subject changed now let us study the kinds of non finite verbs there are three kinds of non finite verbs they are called gerunds infinitives and participles infinitives are the two verbs for example when we use to in front of the verb it is an infinitive to write to paint these are the examples then the next kind of non finite verb is a gerund which is the ing form of the verb that functions partly as a verb and partly as a noun in the sentence for example writing painting etc the next kind of non finite verb is a participle which is the ing form of the verb as the gerund is but it functions partly as a verb and partly as a noun the gerund works partly as a verb and as a noun whereas the participles they work partly as a noun uh, uh, sorry as a verb and partly as a, an adjective in a sentence there are two kinds of participles present participle and past participle now we will see in detail about them 
Now let us see something in detail about the infinitive. The infinitive is referred to as the to verb. For example, to go, to come, to work, etc. When in some cases an infinitive is used without to, it is called a bare infinitive. Now when it is used after modal auxiliaries such as will, shall, should, would, may, might, must, can, could, we use the infinitive without to. Let us see the example. You shall accept this term, these terms. So here we have used the word accept as an infinitive without to because before that there is a modal auxiliary shall. So in that case we use bare infinitives that is an infinitive without a without to. Now let us see what is a gerund. Gerund is the ing form of the verb in a sentence. A verb that performs the work of a noun is a, in a sentence is called a gerund. For example, I like singing. A gerund is also known as a verbal noun. So a verb that acts, a non-finite verb that also works as a noun in a sentence is called a gerund and it is a ing form. So let us see the next example that is jogging is good for physical fitness. So here jogging is a gerund which works uh, also works as a noun. So it is known as a verbal noun. Now something about the next non-finite verb which is the participle. A verb that functions as an adjective in a sentence is called a participle. Now let us see it with an example. Dancing dolls are sold here. So dancing is a verb and it also works as an adjective which adds the, some meaning to the word uh, dolls in a sentence. So we can say that a participle is a verbal adjective. Now something about the kinds of participles. There are two kinds of participle. The present participle. The present participle is formed by adding ing to the root form of the verb. For example, dancing, baking, etc. And the other type is the past participle which is usually ending in ed, d, t, e, n or n. Let us see the examples. Wounded, painted, etc. are the example of the past participle. Now we will make it more clear when you do the exercises related to this chapter.